quick clip art. So first of all, I drew my little image on a piece of paper and I scanned it and I'm about to go get it. Now this is on GIMP, G-I-M-P. <clears throat> so I'm going under file to go and grab my file. Open. And I'm now going to go into pictures, just down here. And let me see if it's coming up. I think that's the, the one up the top. Yeah, that's her. And she's going to be imported into my GIMP screen. So there is my little girl that I drew with black pen. Not very bold. I could have done it a bit bolder. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to bring in the layers. So there's my layers um, screen. And now I'm going to get a new layer. And just press OK. And voila, I've got a new layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll just move this below the first screen. Oh, I can leave it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make the opacity go half. Actually, I won't go half the cut like that, so I'll make it three quarters on the her screen. Now I'm going back to the layer that I just created, and I'm not going to draw on her layer, but on the new layer I created. And then I'm going to go to tools, and I'm going to find a new toolbox. So a new toolbox down here. Voila, here's the toolbox. And I'm going to go for a good copy this time. Um, I'm going to go for a brush. And then I'm going to leave it at 20, which is fine, but I need the actual type of brush that I need. So I go into my toolbox, and I kind of freak out because it's not working, wondering why. Okay, interesting. I don't know why it's not letting me get in there. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I wasn't in the right layer. So if I go back to the right layer, then I should be able to pick my brush in this little box, and voila. That's the brush that I'm going to use. It's that nice, thick, round brush here. And it's going to be 20. There you go, about 20. That'll be enough. And I'm just going to get rid of that, and it's on brush. And now, oopsie, I forgot. I'm going to go back in. Yes, it's clicked into the brush, and then this little pane comes back up again. I'm going to sort of open up this box and look at that. I'm going to make a smooth stroke, make it high quality, and the weight's going to go around about there. I look, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that because it's in my way. I'm now going to make the screen a lot bigger. So I'm going to scroll down. You can't see below here, but it's got uh, the size that I can move it up to. So I'm going to move it up to about 50% because it was on 25% and it's down there is where I can change that. Move my layers off. See you later. And there's my little girl. Now she's a winter girl and she needs to... She's just cold. Alright, so I'm going to start with just doing the black outline. And really, really simple. That's not very smooth. But too bad. That's just the way it goes. This is going to be a quick version. Normally I'd be a lot gentler. It wouldn't be so rushed. And I'm not that great at this, by the way, guys. I'm okay as a drawer. But I kind of like it, and it's a lot of fun. See, the head's already a bit weird. I'm going to rub that out later on. Now, because the hair's a bit tricky, I can do it like this. Or I can take off that smooth bit going back into the brushes. It's a bit too smooth to do the hair. So I'm going to go back into the brushes here. And I'm going to scroll down again open this paint up and I'm going to take off smooth so that I can do the hair better. I know it's a bit rougher but I can do it better. Going back into my tools options and I'm going to make it go smooth again and get rid of it. Okay so that's kind of the head done. Let's do the body. And it is on high quality so if I make a mistake it's not so bad. It's not so jittery. Just around the shoulders now. If I am aware of time, I've only got 10 minutes on this video, so I'm going to last a bit. Now for the sleeves. Right, so this is where I find it tricky, I'm not very good at the hand. 
but too bad I kind of do. And I am in a rush. Okay, so let's take the jacket, lapel, or coat tops, what do you call them? Collars, that's what you call them. Alright, see that's pretty average. And this is all, I'm, I don't even, look, I'm not even using a wake on tablet, I'm just using my finger and on the, um, the pad itself. So, I do have a tablet that I could use, it's a bit too familiar, it's genius or what have you. It's rudimentary, I quite like it when it's working well, but right now I'm just doing my finger, not even the mouth. And that's where it's big, that's not enough. So that's out of proportion we've done to put up so so these are basic outlines this little black thing here, I'm going to click in there, and on the right hand side you'll get this little pane. Now I'm going to go down here to the white to make my image white, or my little fill in my bits of this white. Press OK. Yeah, it's working. It's working because there it is. There's the white. Now I've got my bucket on, and now I'm going to fill in his shoes, his legs, and the outline the inside of the boots. And the coat, the hands, the hat, the face, the hair, the neck, and I'm gonna make it to 100% so I can get right in there. See that little bit there? Two colours. Oops, see, done a mistake. Uh, there's a bit of white. I've done a mistake, so unfill again. Unfill. So I'm gonna check out why that didn't fill in properly. Anyway, going up to my pom pom collar. This one's going to be a tricky one. Yay, I did it! Sometimes if I click on the black, the whole thing will turn white, and I don't want that. Now, I actually want to turn that into white around here, not black. So I'm going to go back over to the brush, and now I'm going to 
And there you go, I've coloured in the pom pom here. And over here, I'm going to scroll, move the gimp over, and then I'm going to make this colour this thing white. So there's the white pom pom. Okay, so she said I want black line art. These are good for teachers to use in their, in their resources. I just noticed a mistake there, and I'm going to get the rubber again. Go back to the tool. Here's the toolbox. Pink rubber here. Rub that little bitty out. That's better done. And you know what? If I had time, I'd go back and make her look a lot better than what she's looking like at the moment. But I'm just here to show you basics of GIMP that I use to make the clip art. Now, I'm going to colour her. Actually, no, no, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export this image because I'm happy with it. I'm going up to Edit. No, that's wrong. I'm going up to File. 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 Sorry, guys. File. And then I'm going to Export in. I don't know if you saw that. Let's File. Export. And over here, it's going to be a JPEG. But I don't really want a JPEG. I'm going to change it to a PNG file. And then I'm going to make her into, what should I call her? Uh, Winter Girl. PNG. That's all I need. And it's going to go into my pictures. And it's going. Check all the books. All the boxes could be ticked, that's alright, as far as I'm aware, and it's gone into my pictures. Now I'm going to colour her in and make her and show you what I do. So, getting the toolbox back, which is over here, I am now going into the bucket. Bucket, where are you? I can see the bucket. It's hard here, it is. Okay, so I'm going back into the white bit because I'm going to get some other colours. Go in there, and that other pane. What the heck happened? That's what happened. Okay, so the other pane is there, and I'm going to make her jacket red. Move her over it just a little bit. I'm going to scroll down, and then I'm going to bucket in her outfit. Because it's now red. That's fabulous. Great. Now I'm going to do her pants. Blue. Make them blue. I hit that pane again. It just doesn't look right. Blue, blue, and I'm going to make her ugly brown, 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 whatever. And I'm just going to make the insides of her boots a little bit darker. So I'm going to move this over a little bit like that. Oh, Kelly, totally. It's okay. Bye. And then, yeah, that looks good to me. Now she's got some gloves on. Let's make those. Oh, I've lost the paint. I'm going to go back in here. Oh well. Now I'm gonna give her skin colour. I'm gonna make her a little brownie girl. Keep her brownie. Yep. Yeah. About here. Yeah. I'll make her no longer wearing mitten. She's got brown skin. Okay. So that's my girl, and I need to give her black hair. So I'm gonna scroll up, which is on the right hand side out of the screenshot. But here it is. And I'm gonna make her hair black. Go over that with the brush. If I had the time, I would make a photo bowl and it would be all gone. Oh, look, I just That's all right. It's not so close, but it's still on the smooth under brush. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to break the hat. Yay! Haha, <laughs> it's not that great, but you know, hey, that's her, that's my little girl. Now she's not quite finished because I'm now going to spray paint her and give her some depth, which means some 3D effects. I'm going over to the spray paint brush over here. And this is important because this is how I do it, and I quite enjoy it doing it like this, is I'm going to swap over the brushes to black. Got that. 
and I clipped twice on the spray paint brush and this paint comes up again. I'm going into this little tiny box and I'm going to opt for this brush here. It's only faint, so it's um a bit blurry, which is what I want. So I'm going to get rid of it because it's in my way. Oh no, I'll go back and get it. Sorry, I'm going to go back and get it because I want to make it the size a lot bigger. Around about there, that's enough, about 180. Actually, that's too big, so I might make it 120. That's too big, too big, too big. About there, there, yeah, there, yeah. Or even that's a bit big. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm going to give it a little bit of darkness on that side, but I just realized it's too dark. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to undo. Go undo, uh, undo airbrush, undo edit. And this time I'm actually going to click back onto the airbrush. Oh, and I'm going to make the opacity less. There you go, that should be enough. That should be perfect. Yeah, that's what I want. Just like that. Give it a bit of depth. Go on the other side as well. Give it under her chin so the chin comes out um, a little bit. That should be darker as well. Um, and the coat side should have a little bit of depth to it as well. Just where you think light would fall. I'm just imagining the sun hitting her straight on. So that's kind of what it should look like, and it should be as well. So moving down to the legs, again there should be a bit of darkness here. Just say shadow, shadow in the legs, shadow here, shadow under her coat, shadow under here. Okay, so moving down to her boots, shadow again. This looks better than no, than no 3D effect, that's for sure. Okay, now I'm going to leave the tops of the boots fine. And now I'm going to highlight it. So I'm going to do the same thing, but just get, I'm going to get white. So I'm going to go back over to the toolbox and go to the colors. And I'm going to go to white, which is sitting over here. Okay. I'll move it out of the way. Okay. And now I'm going to actually probably keep the size as it is. And just highlight her legs so they should come to the fore a bit. Now I don't really like that, so it's not working for me. So I'm going to back edit under the airbrush and make it bigger. So make the airbrush thicker. Make it yeah, about there, that should be enough. I'm just going by play, by you know, just make it nice and thick. Scrolling up on the right hand side, which you can't see, go back onto her arms, like that, highlighted, go into her little hat, and maybe there's some, you know, heading on the top as well, um, maybe there's a little line on the middle of the face, you know, kind of, kind of, now let's put it on her feet. On her legs, sorry, on her boots, her Ugg boots, looking okay for a rush job. Now, obviously, I'm going to do what I would do is probably dot things, but I'm just going to make her smaller so you can see what she looks like, and that'll be it for my quick clip art on Gimp. That is too small. I'll make her about 25. Okay, so she's out of proportion. I get that. But that's my quick clip art that I made. A winter girl holding her hands trying to get nice and warm. So definitely there are things to be fixed up. But if I took my time, I would have actually made a much better clip art that's more in proportion. But that is my quick clip art. And you can do the same using GIMP, which is free on the internet. And go ahead and play around. Have fun, guys. See you later. This is Lunajack. Bye-bye.